The Mississippi River, America's water highway, is open for business. Coal and grain, iron and steel, aggregates and agricultural products, petroleum products and edible oils, upriver and downriver, from Minneapolis and Chicago to the seaport of New Orleans. The products we use every day are floated on barges, pushed by towboats, and sent to markets around the United States and beyond. Every year, over 65 million tons of goods travel the Mississippi River and pass through Alton, Illinois. Because at the center of this transportation and economic crossroads, at the center of it all, is Melvin Price Locks and Dam. The importance of navigation on the Mississippi River system is that it provides the lowest cost means of moving our freight commodities, the building blocks of the nation's economy, cement, coal, steel, road salt, all the construction materials. And the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is the caretaker of our river infrastructure and really manage the underpinnings of the economy when you talk about river transportation. Uh, keeping these structures open, reliable, and available 365 days a year, 24-7, is uh, immense in helping keep our economy moving. Nearly 200 years ago, the steamboat changed the economic future of the United States. Almost overnight, America came to depend on the waters of the mighty Mississippi River. But traveling the river romanticized by Mark Twain could be as perilous as it was profitable. In 1812, the same year the steamboat New Orleans first ran the river, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers arrived on the banks of the Mississippi. With increasing commercial river traffic and to make river navigation safer and more dependable, in 1930, the Corps had begun construction of 29 locks and dams from St. Paul, Minnesota to Granite City, Illinois. And with locks to assist shipping up and down river, gates to control the flow of America's largest inland waterway, and extensive dredging of the river bottom. The immensely ambitious nine-foot navigation channel project became the centerpiece of the Army Corps of Engineers' mission on the Mississippi River. But the power of the river would not go unchallenged. And while most of the locks and dams from the 1930s have survived, by the 1970s, the lock and dam in Alton, Illinois was suffering under the weight of the mighty Mississippi. Old lock and dam 26 needed to be replaced because back in the 30s, foundations were based on wood piles. Over the years, we lost a lot of the soil, which caused a scouring of pilings. Uh, all this caused uh, cracking and movement in the dam, which rendered it unsafe. This particular stretch of water is under greater forces because of the confluence of the Illinois River. Uh, we also have the effect of the Missouri River on the lower end. With the new dam, we started uh, design completely from scratch because we wanted to inject new technology and new materials. At Old Lock and Dam 26, it would take approximately two hours for a 15 barge vessel to lock through we wanted to reduce this time down to approximately 20 minutes. With ambitious goals, the Army Corps of Engineers set about creating their new masterpiece. But the task of building the new dam would prove difficult. Lock and Dam 26 needed to remain in service during the construction of the new structure. So a series of coffer dams large enough to support the project were built in the middle of the river. To be incorporated in the new design were new technologies, including steel H pilings, new high-grade steel for vital components, and a computer control system with integrated GPS, radar, and satellite technology that speeds navigation 
and tracks product movement up and down the river. After 16 years, the Army Corps of Engineers had completed the newest lock and dam on the Mississippi River. Melvin Price Locks and Dam, named for the longtime Illinois Congressman Charles Melvin Price, proponent of the project, was ready to open. But there was one last matter to attend to, getting rid of the old dam. And with that, Lock and Dam 26 had been officially replaced. Today, at the Melvin Price Locks and Dam, nine tainter gates hold back the waters of the Mississippi River. Two separate lock chambers raise and lower more than 40,000 individual barges a year. With a museum on one side and a wildlife sanctuary on the other, Melvin Price Locks and Dam is the cornerstone of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers' dedication to navigation, recreation, environmental stewardship, and education. Mel Price Lock and Dam is uh, unique compared to the other locks on the Mississippi River. First and foremost, when you get here, the sheer size of the structure and the facilities around it are very unique. The main lock is in the center of the river where most of them are over against the bank. It was designed that way to optimize the approach to split the flow of the river around both sides of the lock and optimize the approach for southbound vessels to add to the efficiency and the speed. Another very unique feature is the um, monoliths are actually U-shaped and that includes the lock walls and the floor are all one monolith and poured together that way where other locks the lock walls are actually cast on top of bedrock or on the river bottom. And lastly, Mel Price at the time was the first lock on the inland waterway to be completely controlled by a computer. If Mel Price were to go out of service, it would shut down the entire river system. So Mel Price is a very critical uh, structure and feature to the inland waterway system. What's more, the Army Corps of Engineers allows visitors to tour some of the unique features of Melvin Price Locks and Dam. Here in the Crow's Nest, the lock operators control traffic going upriver and downriver. They can take small recreational boaters through all the way up to big 15 barge tows. Just to give you an idea of how large the Melvin Price Lock and Dam is, I'm standing out on the main guide wall, which in total is over 1,200 feet from the main structure. This three-part lift gate allows us to pass ice and debris, keeping the lock chamber clear. The bridge deck of the dam not only supports the nine tainter gates and the crane, but is so high up you can even see St. Louis from Alton, Illinois. And to ensure that Melvin Price Locks and Dam remains rock solid, the Corps is constantly tracking any changes to the structure of the dam. 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, the two locks at Melvin Price are moving goods to and from destinations along the river. And this modern design is speeding the flow of traffic on the Mississippi. The products that pass through right here in Alton, Illinois, go all over our country and all over the world. If we lost the ability to move goods and materials on the Mississippi River, we'd have significant transportation costs by the other two remaining modes, rail and truck. Just one barge tow going through Mel Price Lock and Dam would require 1,050 trucks. The societal impacts would be felt throughout the entire nation. But tow boats and barges aren't the only boats that use the locks at Melvin Price. From kayaks and sailboats, to paddle wheels and pleasure craft. Melvin Price Locks and Dam is there to give anyone a lift. For thousands of years, the Mississippi River has been a super highway of culture and commerce. Now, wheat goes from Minneapolis to Morocco, coal from Kentucky to Columbia, all on the waters of the mighty Mississippi. 
And at the center of it all, halfway between New Orleans and St. Paul, is Melvin Price Locks and Dam. And as night falls on the river in Alton, Illinois, the Corps of Engineers prepares to send another barge tow full of goods downriver on its way to New Orleans, the Gulf of Mexico, and beyond. <laughs> 